What's up, Spartans? It's Dr. L here, your chief mind doc for Spartan Mind, Wednesday's episode of the Spartan Up podcast family, where I'm here helping you clear your mind of all that mud and gunk and yucky stuff that's not letting you be the kind of human that you want to be, both on that race course in your performance and just in life. So this week, we are talking about evaluating your mental energy. I know, right? Big title. But here's basically what I mean by that. So we have a certain level of energy resources mentally that we invest in things, right? So we might spend time at work. We might spend our mental energy in relationships. We might spend our mental energy in our physical training. We might spend our mental energy listening to this podcast, which by the way, if that's you, you can stop right here. You're awesome. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So there are lots of different places where we can invest our mental energy, right? But it's really important for us to every once in a while, stop, pause, and take a look at really where is our mental energy going, right? Because we wanna make sure that it is on the path that we want it to be. If we're investing a whole bunch of mental energy into something that either we're not finding rewarding, fulfilling, or somehow we know is elevating our game, then why is it there? Why are we investing time and energy into it? So I'm gonna walk you through a simple exercise that's gonna get you thinking a little bit about where you're investing your mental energy and whether or not that needs to change, all right? Okay, so it's gonna require a pen and a pencil. So either you can do this now or do this later, but this is what I want you to do. I want you to write down seven areas where you are investing mental energy. Now, I'm gonna give you some examples of what that might look like. You might be investing mental energy in your family, in friends, general relationships, work, maybe going to church, extracurricular activities, reading, movies, Spartan activities, physical training, okay? Those are just a bunch, but you can definitely come up with your own, okay? So I want you to name seven. Name seven areas where you are investing mental energy. All right, now here's where you get colorful. I want you to whip out some crayons or some markers, or yes, you can just do it with a pen, but it's much more fun if you get creative. And I want you to draw a pie chart. And then I want you to split up those seven areas where you're investing mental energy into what percentage of the day actually goes towards each area, okay? So you might be spending 20% on family, 10% on physical training, 30% at work, you get the idea, okay? Then I want you to take a look at that pie chart and I want you to ask yourself this key question. Is this where I want it to be, okay? So look at that pie chart, evaluate what percentage, once you've evaluated what percentage goes to each area, think about, is this where I want to be investing my mental energy? And here's why this matters. Because if we are putting mental energy towards things that again, we are not finding fulfilling, are not challenging us, are not elevating us as human beings, then we have got to evaluate why we're doing that. We need to take a look inward at what it is, what is it about ourselves or about our belief systems or about our own position with our confidence that's making us invest in something that is not giving back to us, right? So I want you to think about that when you look at your pie chart. Now, here's the next question. If it's not where it wants to be, what needs to change? So this is where I want you to draw a whole new pie chart and then put in the, put in the areas with the percentages that you would prefer them to be. Okay, so let's say you're only giving 10% of mental energy to your family, but you want it to be 20. The new pie chart needs to include 20. You need to rearrange your pie chart so that it's where you want it to be, all right? And that's how you evaluate your wheel of mental energy and get your mind on track with where you want it to be. All right, now I wanna make sure that you know that we are your resilience family. We are here for you Monday through Monday with different Spartan podcast episodes. We've got Spartan Up on Tuesday with Joe DeSena and the team, Spartan Mind on Wednesday, Spartan Way on Thursday with habits, little nuggets that you can take home with you, Spartan Athlete on Friday. We are bringing to you the very best in wisdom for your mind, body, and soul to get you to the place that we know you want to be. I'll see you next time.
where every Wednesday I'm here working to like help you get through all of the, can I start over? I would love to. Okay. Don't be mad at me. No. <laughs>